guys here we are so finally i was able to get everything working and um let's go ahead and get this tutorial going so in this video i want to show you guys that um we have a bad vocal here it's kind of has buzzing some uh peaks here and there so we're gonna go over how to mix those and i kind of have a um this is an auto-tuned song so let me show you guys a preview real quick tell you what been left me Come back to me now, now, now. So this is an artist, Mike Rose. This song's actually on um, iTunes and Apple Music. If you guys want to go check it out. So we have this vocal here. This is a raw vocal, and here how it sounds playing. Check out, listen out for the buzzing that's in there. Girl, you up been left me. Can you come back to me now, now? No. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, buzzing going on, feedback from the headphones. So I'm going to see if I can mix this into the beat. So first thing we want to do is, <laughs> excuse me. So first thing we want to do is actually clean up the auto-tune. So something I learned, a, a cool technique, is you want to put a, a low-pass filter on it uh, before the auto-tune and definitely want to have your de or before the auto-tune. It just helps the auto-tune, you know, get that get the solid vocal that it needs instead of being thrown off by random frequencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a de -esser by uh, Slate Digital. This is called uh, Eloisis e de -esser. I really like this de -esser, especially the, the fact that it's so like accurate and I'm able to quickly narrow down, pinpoint the vocal. So let's hear this solo here. Girl, you up been left me. Can you come back to me now, now? Now, when I'm not around you, I cannot stay off the ground, ground, ground. So let's hear uh, before and after. So here it is bypassed. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? So listen for that two right there. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? See how much smoother that is. It's a little bit too overpowering, so I'm going to turn down the dryness just a little bit, but like it makes a huge difference. This de is super powerful. So I have my de there, and let me throw on an EQ. I'm just going to go ahead and get Waves, our, our EQ6, and uh, I actually dropped a little video on the cheap, plugins that are waves are running for i believe they're 400 dollars for a diamond bundle so go grab you one yourself one this is a really good deal so here's the eq i'm gonna give it like a little open curve here we go girl you up been left me can you come back to me now 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 so i, I dropped up up until like 50 50 uh, are sorts of frequencies because as you can see there's this that's where the buzzing was so if dropping that low end is going to help me take out that buzzing as well um now 50 kilohertz was of frequencies are gone let's go ahead and send take off the rest of these i don't know why they're on here so sorry about that give me one second okay so now those are off now let's go ahead and make a send for this and let's send this over to our bus. Uh, I'm going to do a mono bus. So let's do 9 and 10 since they haven't been used. So I'm going to make an, a mono auxiliary track, for which is going to be the bus for my audio. It came right here. I'm going to call this vocal mix. So let's go ahead and grab that. Bus 9 and 8. So it should be coming right in here. Girl, you up been left me. Can you come back to me now? So I want to drop a little bit of uh, compression on it, definitely. It's uh, to kind of get rid of those, you know, top peaks there. And remember, guys, this is a quick tutorial. So if you guys want an in depth tutorial, I will be dropping in another one coming soon, but I wanted to show you kind of basic techniques that I put on my videos. So 
I mean, not video, video my mix is sorry. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. So, our threshold, you don't want to overpower the threshold. The threshold should barely be touching the vocal. So, it, right here, as you can see, this is my input signal coming in. I don't want a threshold like down here. It's going to crush all of my top end, and I don't want to get rid of that. I want to keep the vocal original and authentic. And my ratio is going to determine how hard the compression is going to kick in. So, I'm going to only chop off the top end. Like, Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. Sort of have a fast attack, but medium more so girl you up and left me can you come back to me now 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 okay so i'm gonna go on here and uh let's let's add a, a vmr to this virtual mix rack by slate digital i love slate's plugins they're amazing the de-esser that i was showing you earlier was also by um slate digital so let's take a look where's our vmr There we go. So let's see, let's see. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. I really love the EQ FGS. So let's start off with FGS. Um, as you saw when I opened it, my setup is my default EQ. Kind of want to give it that warmthness and keep the top end as well. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. Girl, you up and left me. Can I'm going to turn up the filter a little bit so I don't get that buzzing sound to become so obvious, you know? Let's see where we are. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. I like the sound of that. So I'm going to keep it right there. And um, something that I personally do, I think a lot of engineers are opposed to this, but I will often throw a limiter on my... Uh, main vocals because it kind of get, allows me to bring that presence into my tracks and I, I like the sound of that so I usually put a, a, a limiter right on my uh, you know lead vocal and then I will kind of like mix it in with the beat so let's hear this with the beat and see how it's sitting and then we'll go from there Girl, you up and left me Come back to me now, now, now. When I'm not around you, I cannot stay off the ground. Oops, Pro Tools going crazy here. Sometimes when you're capturing the screen with Pro Tools, you get some errors. Girl, you up and left. So I like the sound of that, actually. I really like the sound of that. So let's just throw in some quick reverbs and kind of give you the idea where I'm going with this song. So I have my reverbs on my bus one and two, so I'm going to create a bus, turn on my reverb bus. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, go down here. I already had this in the mix, so I kind of have my reverb settings that I'll open them so you guys can see how I have it set. Girl, you up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, when I'm not around you, I cannot stay off the ground, ground, ground. Can't you see that I'm the guy? Love you till the day of night, girl. Wow, that sounds really good to me. And then, um, let me just go ahead and drop in a, a little bit of delay on that as well. You up and left me. Can you come back to me now? Now, now. So, for my delay, I'm using a repeater again. Once again, Slate Digital took the victory on this one as well. But I, before I put in my delay, I have a, a little 
uh, flanger effect on it little air flanger by Pro Tools so basic one really but it sounds great let me let me actually play that solo for you guys One sec so you can hear kind of how the delay sounds Girl, you up and left me Can you come back to me now? Now, now When I'm not around you I cannot stay off the ground Ground, ground Can't you see that I'm the guy? There you go. You guys got the idea. Let me just show you how this song kind of fits in with the mix. But that's kind of what I have going on throughout the song, really. Uh, just, you know, some delays, I played around with it, and then the rest of the mix is basically the same, so check it out. Girl, you up and left me, can you come back to me now, 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 now. When I'm not around you, I cannot stay off the ground, ground, ground. You guys got the idea so basically this is how the mix is sitting in if you guys want to hear the full song it is available on apple music so go check it out shout out to my guy my mike rose for allowing me to put this up as a tutorial um so guys yeah let me know if you have any questions drop some comments always like comment subscribe there's a lot more tutorials coming this was just a quick one i know i went really fast but kind of wanted to give you guys some quick tips on what i do but yeah remember that technique about the de-esser and the low pass filter on the auto tune for sure, okay? Um, all right, guys, be safe. Good luck.